And these are two of the, I think, the two highest placing South Floridian natives at Frostbite. So it really is a chance for them to show who is the king of this region. Who has the juice? Game one, Battlefield starting right here as Myron shoots out an up smash before getting grabbed by Ace and using these platforms. These here we go. To get such great mileage off single up airs. Can you touch oh the my Can you Lord. touch the ground? 100% already. We're not even 15 seconds into the match. Mute Ace had a quite a significant break between his previous set and this, but looks like he has no rust whatsoever. Already 126, 26 seconds into this game. And for clarification for our viewers, Almar is Myron and Mute Ace is Peach. Going and that again. is a stock gone. Single hit Nair doing the work that it always does. Most characters have Nairs, like Peach Nest, that come out so quickly and hitting that sweet spot, it's basically a kill move. There's so many uh, charts you can look at where like, is my character good? Is my Nair good? Typically both answers are yes. And right now, notice how Mew Ace's downer negates all the Pikmin throws. That's the one thing that's defined Mew Ace against Iron. Iron's going Ace. low. Going very low, forward pass on the shield, down air. Oh, float canceling into a forward air, basically using a, a modified Tomahawk. I love the creativity from you, Ace. Absolutely dominant performance so far. We see Myron finally get back to the ground, finally get a little bit of an advantage, but you just see him jump out. How does Olimar deal with the aerial movement? Very carefully, I would assume. What I think is going to be the key here is making sure you get the Pearl Pikmin and throwing them at Peach because she's forced to shield that. Oh! No Pikmin. He's got no Pikmin! Dude, a forward smash? The hard call out from Mute Ace there, and now already on the last stock of Myron, attempting to get that golden split here on game one. He's, he's got a three stock lead. And, you know, people uh -oh. have been saying that, right, that all of Myron is an air change to watch, but I've been loving Myron's comebacks. I've been loving his way of his adapting. It's really, really been a, a pleasure to watch. But this game one is not looking in his favor. Blue. Great single oh. pluck blue RNG for the crap. He actually gambled it all on blue, and it worked it's out. It's going to be that cycle that he knows so well. Red, yellow into blue, and he knows right when he can grab. He can immediately act out of it into the grab. Oh, is it a cycle? I thought yes. it was RNG. No, no, no. That was, uh, it was, oh, I believe it was a brawl that was RNG. Oh. Since Smash 4, it goes in a set unit. That Red, yellow, blue, white, purple, I believe. That's a, that's a really cool modification, because then it's it sort of allows you to have those like clutch, really quick reactions that we just saw there. And that's the mentality of it. You look at Olimar from a paper surface, and you're like, oh, this character's up smash. But really, you have to know when you're going to be able to pull specific items, when you're going to pull, you know, which one's oh. going to be useful up on the ledge there. Wow, yeah, that's actually what's going to cover both options. Myron, hold, wait a second. Three stock comeback again? I mean, the Myron I, special. If anyone's doing it, it's uh, South Florida's very own premier Olimar. Up smash, up air. Damn. Okay, a white Pikmin getting a 30, 39. Not full damage, but it's still very, very helpful here. Oh, Thunder's I love gonna, the quick back air to yeah. knock out. Oh, almost knock out the purple, excuse me. It's going to clank, but hold on. One back air at a time. Who's going to take this first match? It's actually quite close. Mew Ace has my kill percent, but it only takes a few more Pikmin hits for uh, Myron to be in the exact same situation. Going to have Toad send him away. Oh, that back air. So reliable. Such high priority on that. It's winter semis all over again. Time and time again, we've seen Mutes rely on that short hop back air to close out these stops. Myron getting some water, trying to water his Pikmin so they can grow big and strong for this game too. Mew Ace, of course, was in winner's finals against Salem. Salem was able to best him there. He wants the run back. But he, you can see it in his eyes how much he wants this run back. The aggression in his play, the focus. This is what you need to be in this hot seat right now. You need to not tilt over anything. Even if you get hit by what some people would call jank or an unfair mechanic, it doesn't matter. But the devs are not here to give you your game. You have to play the game that they made for you. And for those at home, this is effectively a $2,000 money match right now. Basically. Third place, 1K. Second place guaranteed, 3K. It is all the pressure right now built into losers finals. Yeah, if you win this match, you can pay your mortgage pretty much. Go in now to town and city. Plucking three, picking up the star, always red, yellow, and blue. It's creative to see how, uh, you know, Myron used that, you know, sort of three, two, one, go burst. He throws the red one. Whoa, 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 two big hits right here. Oh, Peach Bomber, and that's going to be safe on shield, too. You see so many nares come out afterwards. It pushes her further enough aback that you can really take advantage of that space. I, I wish you could see Mutus' controller when he plays Peach. Like, the APM is actually out of control. I can see an angle on it right now, and it is wild. A lot of inputs are required to make these float cancels effective. Myron getting a back throw and a Ooh. back air, and it will kill. Very impressive. A hard commit to the high recovery there from Mutes. 
I think we need to see more of those from Myron. You know, Peach is floaty. She's not the heaviest character by any means at all. And so if Myron takes a chance to go out there, right already when he has an edge guard opportunity, that might be all he needs. The purple barrage here is so difficult for Mudes to get 46% oh! before he finally closes out that stock with that fair. He's answering right back. He's saying, you know what? I got the same thing as you. I got my own strength. Got damage. Loops. Oh, we're going all the armor through. I'm really curious to see what happens if Myron does that and then Mudes calls out the whistle. That's true. And I think when Myron just caught on there, his dash attack is very reliable against his character. It has multiple hits, and we see so often Mutis hopping through float cancel that when he jumps out of shield, that dash attack might catch him, or even a back air as Myron takes game two lead. Two for two on those back airs so far. Okay, oh, missing so barely that edge guard. Gonna do it again. Third time's the charm. No, not yet. Beautiful DI for Myron. And what do you know? Another back air forwarder coming. And wow. <laughs> oh, Omar is very, very light. This is last talk once again. I would argue that Myron absolutely needs this game if he's going to beat someone like Mudes to get to this grand finals. Can he clutch it out right here? Or is Mudes going to use one of his patterns and down throw combos? Nair, Nair. Oh, my God. Down That's throw. That's crazy. He got, the, he got the first initial neutral win, got 27%. Oh, Mudes oh, won and then whistle. says, give me that. Hold on the up Take him back. Take him back. Up them. To the up there's too much with the down air. So clutch from Myron to stay alive. One more chance. There you go. Can he get the grab? He goes to the shield. No. How the many Myron. times? How many times, Hungry Bob? The Myron, one, two, three. But can he get the win? That's what's important. Purple getting involved once again. White coming out. And that's going to block a lot of those descending aerials, too. Just that horizontal arc. Oh, Bear the crown oh, enough. Man. Uh, it's Simply elegant it's it's just the closing myron so confident in getting all these hits even a high percent but it's the closer that forward air Mules has used time and time again to close out so many matches the composure we talked about it just for a brief second there myron gets the first initial win gets initial combo 27 percent awesome i've got stage control suddenly Mules is back one down tilt and you're looking at a 50 percent deficit 70 percent in the blink of an eye you ready for the hunger prediction here we go. This, Will this, this be a 3-0? What do you think? This is going to go to game five. That's the hungry prediction. Because I've seen Myron in this exact same situation. And I don't know what it is. I think it's the other player wanting it to end sooner. Uh-oh. Big damage here. Myron takes advantage advantage of, of anxiety. You know what I mean? Tries to hop out of there, get rid of that blue pick, then gets called out with the up smash. Now sitting at around death percent. Got to see how Myron continues this pressure, though. Anyone can get a lead. The hard part is keeping it. And just like that, the lead's almost gone to Purple Pikmin, Whoa. saving the day for the upteenth time. Super confident down there. Very even percent right now. They're both throwing out everything they've got for this last game. Well, potentially last game for Myron, rather. Oh, Great. Get the blue. going to be a kill immediately. All right. Myron, if he keeps the lead here, if he can tack on about 60%, this match will be his. But Mew Ace is so good at mixing up his floats. It's hard to get those combos on him. Yeah, the empty hop into the grab is such a great option. Now we're going to see the float high and Whoa, not he quite lit. enough. Fantastic DI. Will he be able to cover the get up? No, the purple pigment again blocking the back hair. That beautiful upbeat cancel into Nair to actually eat into Mew Ace's shield, letting him live one step longer, throwing out every Pikmin he's got. Alexander and Charles and whoever their names are, he's making sure that they all go and fight them. 53 right now for Mew Ace back here waiting for it. Double purple. Oh. Double purple. The platform changes. He's almost at full rage. This is going to hurt. Oh, oh, God. He actually got the forward air right there. I thought he was going to up smash. Barely avoiding the turnip. Oh, he's going to have to regrab. He's going to have to regrab. Okay, back air. Incredibly reliable. Comes out quickly. You really can't contest that. I, I don't think any character can actually contest that in terms of areas. It's such a good option. Look at it now how Mudes will respond with these early percent combos. But Myron not giving him the option, trying to create a stock lead for himself. I really think the key here is Myron using those down tilts, those nares, those Solomar moves that actually hit very quickly to get into Mew Ace's shield. And for the first time, we do see Myron with a heavy lead this game. So we're going to see what he has out here. We've seen it previously, but we know how. Oh, that's, that's it. Gonna, that's going to kill. Wow, surprisingly. 120, baby. All right. This is Mute Ace, This is Myron's game to win. But if Mute Ace lands one more string, gets about 80 and forwarders in, it might be exactly the, the same it's situation. so scary. And Nair high, get rid of that Pikmin. Smart. Got get rid of pink, or excuse me, the, the white one. You can't take that much damage. Nair on shield. We'll see how he continues here. Going to go for the up air strings. Still not be able to connect the back air. One hit away is going to be able to finish this for Mute Ace if he gets him towards the blast zone. We'll see how he goes. Lands with the Nair, but going to eat a bear out of shield once again. 
We're waiting right now, going for a forward throw. He has no problem going for the agile opportunity. Meanwhile, Myron actually winning, air dodging until he gets one more chance to up B. No trump off the ledge. We see the forward smash here creating that separation that he desperately needed. He wants to make sure he closes up this dodge. He cannot allow Mutes to come back and get those low percent combos. Waiting right now, Mewes at last percent stock. The upbeat just too low! And we have, finally, Myron making his own answer, saying you're not gonna 3-0 me. I have my own bag of trips for the rest of the set. What a fantastic pressure sequence there for Myron, forcing him to go for just too low. Unable to recover, and that's gonna force now a game four. Will he be able to continue this momentum into a potential game five clinching of this set? See where we go here. Both players remaining stoic and calm the entire time. Going into game four right now. Hello? Like I said, I, my prediction, my prediction was basically a game five comeback. But we'll see what happens. Mudes really, really wants this, but Myron actually mixed it up very well for the rest of that match. 36% up smash into up air. Such high early damage output. Both these characters capable of so much. And the fact now they're going to Pokemon Stadium. Mew A starting an incredible string, 0 70%. Says anything you can do, I can do better. Matching that 50 and adding 20 more. Such a good forward to negate those Pikmin. Can he get the falling forward air? He misses the nair. The spike! Get him from out. From Myron. Get him out. I'm admiring that. My goodness. It's going to be stuck off stage, now. though. Can he recover? That nair didn't work that time. Doesn't have the purple Pikmin to intercept these aerials. This is really difficult right now. No Pikmin at all, actually. Good DI to live right there. Still hasn't had a chance to pluck. Gonna get it now. <laughs> Immediately into that toss, too. Clutch whistle play to get through that Nair. He had no Pikmin, but he still had the whistle. And that will kill right there. Two stocks apiece now, but Myron is showing such levels of confidence. We haven't seen those first two games. Now in game three, we saw him able to extend his lead a little bit in between stocks, but he doesn't get it here. Immediately answers back his Mudes. Back air, grab. Check, check, check. One of the best tactics you can do is just run up to your opponent and grab them. It's really like a 50-50, or RPS, if you will. We see here, goes for <laughs> Oh, no way that hit. It actually went through both Pikmin to stagger the move. Oh, almost an up smash. The back air, barely not going to kill Myron on his last string to the stock. He cancels the up B for the pro Pikmin, but it's not enough. Myron actually on his potential last stock of the tournament after a gigantic run from losers. And Mudes has looked so confident at these 0% combos, consistently getting as much damage as possible. Eats through the whistle, 62%, oh, 70. How do you get down from this? Can Myron do another incredible comeback? We see another back air. This is very bad. He has to go so low. Gonna reset the stage though. Okay, smart to use the purple to get in. 107. It's looking grim. Oh, the turn up spiking. He's gotta go low. He's gotta go low. He's gotta re grab. Mute so many hitboxes right now. And the Peach Bomber will finish the set. Not even a smile, not even a sigh of relief. He's here. Days, it's simply clinical. He is here for one placing only, and that is first still. A very great run. Let's get it up for Myron, third place from Southwest Florida. Great run for him.